Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Wa Rumya. Back with another lesson. I got my bun with me. Taza Wan. Bring out another lesson in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We're going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Yahweh Kakadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Dumb honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone who taught us his truth. And Shalom to the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children. Um, hopefully, a part of hopeful elect, man. That's what we pray for. So uh, I got another lesson I want to get into. Uh, basically, that the the daughter of Babylon, which is America, is going to be judged for her for her sins. And we're gonna we don't pull out these sins, and there's so many. This is this is a small number of things that Esau Edom has used Babylon the Great to do, man. So let's start here. The Lord willing, it be edifying. And I want to start by saying, fair use, fair use. This information will be used for educational purposes only. No, it, none of this information will be used for financial benefits. It's only used for educational purposes only. Say the weird thing. People are desperately seeking realness. I was quite surprised to see you use the word Aborigines talking about African Americans. You know, I, I've dealt with that issue. Um, uh, the Aborigines of these lands, now known today as America, were made slaves when the invading colonials arrived. But through the funding of the church manifesting as Spain, Britain, and France, these colonials devised a plan in conquering the rest of the Americas. Spain knew of these lands before Columbus. They had struck treaties, or in other words, paid off or forced the indigenous leaders to give up their lands. The history books don't teach about these remaining empires in America during the 18th century. This plan was really a plan to wipe out the remaining threat of Aborigines and to create a false identity by shipping many blacks to Africa to create this society off the coast of Africa. They made up the lie of the Civil War in order to make you believe that they fought for black people's freedoms. The many abolitionists who developed during this period were said to be against slavery, but this is just a setup. It's like philanthropy. They wanted to make themselves seem like the redeemers, when all they did was completely brainwash and replace the sense of self with a foreign entity. Thomas Jefferson did reply to this plan by Anne Mifflin, and said that this would be the most desirable measure in which could be adopted for gradually drawing off the black population. He endorsed it, and thought that it should be the highest priority for the United States to make an establishment off the coast of Africa. This plan was well received by the rest of these forming new colonies in America, and the plan began to remove and indoctrinate the remaining population of the aborigines of this land. These abolitionists from the north did not care about black people at all. Common for his times, Jefferson believed blacks were inherently inferior to whites and thought it was best the two races remained segregated. Many of us were given false histories, and our homelands were forgotten, but on a greater scale, our spiritual identities were lost. A new age began where we forgot about our own structures and architecture and the very cities that we now currently all share in America. The colonials did not build these cities. The groundwork for all major cities was built upon an existing civilization. That is the secret that has been kept from our education in order to enslave mankind under an exterior god, the god of materialism and death. And that's Esau's god. He has used his God to conquer the world, man, which they made him, which as you know, is Jesus Christ. They used their God to conquer the world. And it was, it's confirmed, man. Israelites was here in the Americas. The Northern and some of the Southern kingdom was already here. But the Northern kingdom looked a lot like the Southern kingdom, man. And they lump us all together in by just saying they're black, they're black, they're black. And we have many shades of brown, man. We're not black. So you see in one, one of the sins of Babylon the Great, man. They used, they used the country. They stole our country. And they made it theirs. And this all goes back to the curses. But Esau Edom is going to pay for what he's done. So I'm going to get this video here. And it's just going to go into another sin of Esau Edom, man. So his sins are piled up. And it does say about the C-19 towards the end, 
So I'm gonna catch it and I'm a I'm a I'm gonna stop it and I'll pause it if you want to you know get the you know read it. But the video is gonna tell you the gist of the point I was wanting to bring out through this video. So here we go. He says German scientists uh, re recruited by the U.S. Man, let's get to it. So you've heard of Operation Paperclip? What if I told you there was an operation even more sinister? that it sent shivers down Satan's spine. This might look like a regular army base, but don't be fooled. This was home to Unit 731, one of the most chilling secrets of World War II. Unit 731 was a covert biochemical warfare research unit of the Imperial Japanese Army. They were hidden deep in occupied China. There were hundreds of thousands of prisoners, including women and children, who were subjected to horrors that would make your skin crawl. Literally, they performed freezing experiments, live amputations and injections with deadly diseases. But what were they trying to achieve? They were tasked with creating bioweapons of mass destruction. And in the final moments of the war, all prisoners were silenced to conceal the evidence. The leader of the unit, Shiro Ishii, had planned an attack on the west coast of the United States using their weaponized bubonic plague. But it gets worse. Instead of being punished for their crimes against humanity, many of these scientists were offered immunity by the United States in exchange for their data. They were eager to harness this forbidden knowledge to advance their own bio-warfare capabilities, free from the burden of its ghastly origins. During the cope. And as you've seen, I had to pause it um, because uh, I don't know Esau still flagging for that word, but... You got the gist of the video because they didn't they didn't punish those people for what they done. They basically just recruited them. And now they're still using their technology in their warfare to this very day. And that's the reason why he was going into the C-19. And now you have another uh, uh, epidemic coming. And. Um, and you see it, it's another F FLU. And it's 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 it's, it's going it's going uh, viral because one human has um, been transmitted. You know, been been um, uh, what you call it? He's been diagnosed with it. So we're we're heading into these times where it's going to get bad, man. And the next outbreak is going to be way more deadlier than we've seen with the C one nine. And as you should know by now, they're shutting down Australia. So they're going to move fast when they bring in this next sickness, man. And it's going to bring in the MOTB as well. So we're, we're reaching a time the Lord is going to bring all these prophecies. The last, last of the prophecies, they're going to, the Lord is going to bring him all the way full force, man. So the MOTB, the sickness, the plagues, you, you, you're going to see them. And this ain't the time to debate with anybody. If they can't get it, it ain't for them. Don't even waste your time, man, because the Lord is going to shake his hand over Babylon and great. And no one's going to be able to stop it. And these nations are ready to fight. So World War III, the Battle of Armageddon is at the doorstep as well, man. So we're here. And let's check out what this Chinese uh, representative is saying, man. And he's not sugarcoating his words. He's, he's speaking boldly against Babylon the Great. The China-Russia relationship is built on the basis of non-alignment, non-confrontation, and non-targeting at any third party. It is a factor conducive to world peace and stability, which is no cause for concern. What is truly concerning is the destructive role the U.S. has played to peace and stability in the world. The U.S. is the number one warmonger in the world. The U.S. was not at war for only 16 years throughout its 240-plus years of history. The U.S. accounted for about 80% of all post 
post-World War II armed conflicts. The U.S. is also the number one violator of sovereignty and interferer in the internal affairs of other countries. According to reports, since the end of World War II, the U.S. has sought to subvert more than 50 foreign governments, grossly interfered in elections in at least 30 countries, and attempted assassination on over 50 foreign leaders. The U.S. is also the number one source of antagonism on bloc confrontation. The U.S.-led NATO is responsible for wars on Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria that killed more than 900,000 and created 37 million refugees. It has also made the Eurasia continent a less stable place. The impacts of U.S.-initiated Quad and AUKUS on Asia-Pacific security also calls for vigilance. As long as U.S. hegemonism and belligerence still exists, the rest of the world will hardly get the peace it deserves. The China-Russia relationship and you, is... And you see, China is saying there's no peace in the earth because of Babylon the Great. And he just brung out a couple of scenes of Esau Edom, man. And he told you he was the number one war, war, warmonger in the in the earth, man. So when we say that Esau Edom is a so-called white man, we're not lying, man. The heathen nations are, are, are basically telling you to your face as well. <laughs> What the prophet, the, what the apostles and elders have been saying for over for almost forty years now. This has been made plain in your face, man. This is who the Lord is speaking about: Esau, Edom, being a so-called white man, and now the nations are ready to fight. Now, listen to this, man. This is a, these are the two nations that are going to come against Babylon the Great, because it's written, and it says from the face ex, from the face expressions. He seems to be mean it. So they're not playing, man. They're not playing. They're ready to shoot those nuclear missiles on Babylon the Great. And he's going to tell you that. And this is only May the 7th. He says, now I fully understand who is the superpower in the world. Official nuclear doctrine. Russia would launch a strategic nuclear strike against the United States and all the NATO countries as soon as we witness the launch of Western missiles, no matter how armed they are, uh, uh, against our territories. And then the whole planet will die. Let me play this one more time. It don't look like he's uh, sugar and cold in his words. Let me play it one more time, because he's telling you exactly what the what the prophecies are saying is going to happen. And they said it don't matter if it's if it's uh, nuclear missiles or not, they're going to shoot their missiles off. This is the this is the Russian official nuclear doctrine. One more time. Official nuclear doctrine. Russia would launch a strategic nuclear strike against the United States and all the NATO countries. As soon as we witness the launch of Western missiles, no matter how armed they are, uh, uh, against our territories, and then the whole planet will die. So he's telling you they're going to shoot those missiles off. And they've been poking the bear, and they've been poking the bear, and now they're ready to fight. And they're, they're not playing, man. They're not sugarcoating their words. They're telling you, if they shoot any missile towards us, no matter if it's, it's nuclear tipped or not, they're going to shoot their missiles off. And America, Babylon the Great being first, and then other NATO countries, man. So we know that nuclear war is at hand. The time that the Bible speaks of, of Babylon the Great being utterly wasted and taken off the planet. And he said the earth is going to die, but we know Babylon the Great is going to die. And it'll never be inhabited again. Let's start here in Jeremiah 51 and 45. It says, my people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh by Shem Shah. And that's what we continue to prophesy to our people, man. Repent to the Lord. It says, and lease your heart faint and ye fear for a rumor that shall be heard in the land. And that's a rumor that he was saying. They would have shoot our missiles on Babylon the Great in the NATO countries. He says, and rumors shall come both in one year and after 
that in another year shall come a rumor. And see, they've been saying this for many years now. And and they've been in they've been fighting in, in on a low level using their proxy army, which is the, the yellow and blue country. That's been going on for what going on two now, what, two to three years now? So these rumors of, 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 of them going head to head has been a rumor. Now we're reaching the climax of World War Three, man. Because they are gonna put their nations, France being a NATO countries are gonna put their nations in this yellow and blue country, man. So we're reaching the, the time this rumor is going to be fulfilled. They're going to act on this rumor that they've been speaking of for a couple years now. And it's all been prophesied to happen, but now we're seeing a rumor of, uh, of nuclear war happening. It says, And violence in the land, ruler against ruler. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon. See that? The Lord is stirring up the Russians to do judgment on Babylon the Great, man. As you've seen in the video, they use what they say, colonialism. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, they used um, their 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 God to co conquer our people. They used the the, the Cesar Borgia, which is Jesus Christ. They used him to conquer our people, and they're still still using that deity this very day, which is no different than Moloch and the other gods they worship. But the Lord is going to bring their gods down, man. All the deities and the gods they worship, he's going to bring them down, man. So this is the judgment upon their idols, man, the graven images. He says, and her whole land shall be confounded and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. See, that's what we want in our people, man. When, they bring, when the Lord bring judgment, you're going to die, man. You're not going to be able to escape. There's no exit route. There's no way around the Lord's judgment. The only way is to repent to the Lord, man. Because he, he is mustering the host of the battle, man. The Lord is a man of war. Verse 48, it says, Then the heaven and earth, then heaven, then the heaven and the earth, and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon. For spoilers shall come unto her from the north, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And the north, is strategically above us, which is the Russians and the, and the Chinese, man. The Lord set them above us, and that's how we know who we're speaking about, who he's going to bring against Babylon, who are the spoilers. You've seen the, the man say that we're going to send our missiles. We don't care if, if y'all shoot a missile this way. We don't care what is it, what's on it. Is it a blank or, or it's a, a nuke? We're going to send our missiles, man. We're going to send our missiles, man. And Russia has the most missiles in the world. It says, verse 49, it says, As Babylon have caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. So the Lord is going to judge you for what you did to the children of Israel, man. Using your, your, your weapons and your chemicals and, and all these different things to, 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 to bring us down and kill us. This is the judgment that you're going to receive first. This is your first judgment. Verse 50, it says, Ye that have escaped the sword, go away, stand not still. Remember, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh are far off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. And that's talking to his people, man. Repent and turn to the Lord, man. Because there's no escape. There's no way out of what's coming. Let's get this in the NLT, man, just to bring it even, bring it even home. And I'm going to let you take that. NLT. And I'm gonna, we're going to start at verse uh, 47. No, let's start at verse... Uh, no, start at 45. Let's start at 45. This is Jeremiah 51, verse 45 in the NLT. And it says, Come out, my people. Flee from Babylon. Save yourselves. See that? Save yourselves. The only way you can save yourself is through the Lord, man. You can't go and travel to, uh, to uh, South Africa or, or, uh, or the Middle East. Judgment is going to be going out everywhere. Saving yourself is repenting and return to the Lord. So the Lord telling you, you better come to me. Go ahead. Run from Yahweh by Shem Yahushua's fierce anger. See that? Run from the Lord's fierce anger because it's coming. There's no way around it. And that's why we're telling you, you better repent, man. This is the only way out. But do not panic. 
mm-hmm. be not a, do, don't be afraid. Mm-hmm. When you hear the first rumor about approaching forces, mm-hmm. for rumors will keep coming year by year. So that, and we're reaching the climax of these rumors. We've been hearing rumors on a low level. Yeah, Russia and uh, America are going to fight. They're going to touch, you know what I'm saying? They're going to go head to head. So now the rumors are coming to pass, man. Now we're seeing the rumors come to pass. And we're seeing the leaders of these countries speaking boldly against each other. So now it's not for us to get afraid. It's not for us to fear. It's for us to rejoice because the Lord is doing this for the controversy of Zion and for what they've done to the children of Israel. Keep going. Violence were erupting the land. Mm-hmm. See, lived. violence is going to erupt in the land. It's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of chaos here in Babylon the Great very soon, man. Especially when they crash the dollar. Go ahead, speak up a louder too. As the leaders fight against each other, for mm-hmm. well, the time is surely coming when I will punish this great city and all her idols. See that? So the Lord is going to punish this great city, which is Babylon the Great, and all her idols, her money, her her uh, her, her lust for uh, for blood. Uh, for, for what they've done to, to the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? That's a God they do that, man. They, they worship blood, man. They love to shed innocent blood. And our blood is innocent, man. Because we are in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. We are the children of Israel. Go ahead. Her whole land will be disgraced. See? Her whole land is going to be disgraced. And her dead will lie in the streets. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Then the heavens and earth will rejoice. See, then the heavens and the heavens and earth were going to rejoice when the, in Babylon the Great is destroyed, man. See, the earth is the animals and the, and the, and the lands and <laughs> these these places are going to rejoice that the Lord has taken down Babylon the Great, man, because it has ruined the whole entire globe, man. The whole earth is suffering under the hands of Bab- uh, 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 at the hands of Esau Edom. For out of the north. For out of the north will come destroying armies against mm-hmm. Babylon. See, they, out of the north is going to come destroying armies. And we know what armies is coming, man. All those nations are going to be joined to, 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 to Russia, man, and China. Go ahead. Saying it how by Shem Yahushua. Just as Babylon killed the people of Israel. See that? Just as Babylon has killed the what? People in Israel. The people of Israel. Go ahead. And others throughout the world. So and other other people, man. See, this this man has a judgment coming to him that he has no clue that's coming to him. He thinks he's going to rule forever. For what they did to the children of Israel and the other people. Go ahead. So must her people be killed. See, so the Edomites are going to die as well, man. And you see what China just went through and told you that you killed over 900 people right in, <laughs> just in the Middle East alone, man. And that's just one one of the, um, the, the 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 destructions that he named. Get out! All you have escaped from the sword. See, get out! All you escaped from the sword, and that's repenting to the Lord. That's the, talking about you Israelites. Do not stand and watch. Flee while you can. See that? Don't stand and watch. Don't be. Oh well, it ain't came yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on. I ain't gonna repent yet. It ain't happened yet. You want to wait till the last minute and turn to the Lord. So the Lord telling you to escape now while the prophets are bringing out this word and these lessons for you before the, before the, they take us off the highways and byways and off the internet. This is the time to return to the Lord, man. You don't have that much more time, man. Time is running short because the, the, the mercy doors are, are closing, man. That grace period is ending. Finish it up. Remember, Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh though you are in a far off land. See that? You Israelites, remember the Lord while you off in Babylon the Great, man, which is going to be destroyed. Go ahead. And think about your home in Jerusalem. See, and think about your homeland in Jerusalem, man. Think about the kingdom of heaven. Think about the kingdom of heaven. Let me get this in the NLT, man, because it tells you, you Israelites, man, and this is the way to escape the Lord, man, the hands of the wrath of the Lord. This is how you escape by returning to him. You, you, your, your hands are too small to box with, the, with, with, with what they say. Your hands are too small to box with God, man. So the Lord has given you a escape route. He set the men of the Lord up to warn you of the wrath that's coming. And that's the reason why we go so hard for you to, to bring these lessons out. One more time, man. This is um, Jeremiah 51. I'm just getting the point. Start at verse 47. It says, and so the time is coming when I will deal with Babylonians' idols. 
So all these gods you have, your weed, your, your, your alcohol, your, 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 your lustful women, all these gods that Esau put before you, it's going to be taken down, man. All, you, all the things you think was, is normal and cool and good, it's going to be taken down and destroyed, man. And we warn you from Esau's idols, man. His Jesus Christ, his Buddhas, his, 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 um, his um, uh, what's it, Islam, uh, Islam, and all these things, man. You, you, you should know these things by now. You should know all his idols. Because it's not, if it's not Yahweh by Shem Shah, it's an idol. Not no most high Christ, Christ bless. It's not Yah. It's Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, man. He says, the whole country will be put to shame and all its people will be killed. And that's what we're telling you, man. No creature is going to be living here in Babylon the Great once this, once this destruction comes, man. Nothing is going to survive the judgment of the Lord, man. When the Lord has put on the spirit to have a rush and shoot those missiles over here, nothing on this land is going to survive. Nothing is going to survive. No humans are going to survive, man. You already got bunkers. They're, that's just an oven for them. You're not going to survive because the Lord said there's going to be 200 million missiles going to hit Babylon and Great Bear. So you're not going to survive if you got a bunker, uh, if, you, if you got a, a high uh, mountain retreat. That is not going to, that's not going to keep you from the fire and the wrath of the Lord, man. So he's telling you nothing and nobody is going to survive this judgment that's coming. He says, everything on earth and in the sky will shout for joy when Babylonian falls to the people who come from the north to destroy it. See that? The earth is going to be happy to see Esau out of, Esau out of power and Babylon the Great taken off the planet, man. Babylonian, Babylonia caused the death of people all over the world and now Babylonia will fall because it caused the death of so many Israelites. That's plain. This place is going to be judged for all the deaths of the Israelites, man. I, Yahweh, by Shem Shai have spoken. It's plain, man. There's no, no way out of what the Lord is going to bring against Esau, Edom, and especially Babylon the Great, man. There's no, 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 um, treaties or nothing you can sign to, to have the Lord stop his wrath from coming. So we're telling you to get on the right side, man, as we try to seek the Lord as much as we possibly can as well, man. Repent to the Lord and doing the will of the Lord because we know his judgment is coming, man. Let's get this. Revelation 18, 20. Go ahead. Rejoice her so over her. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. See that? And that's the men of the Lord, man. Rejoice over her because we prophesy for these things to come. Go ahead. For most high hath avenged you on her. And mighty angel, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus, with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down. Mm hmm. And shall be found no more at all. See that in this place is going to be thrown down and be found no more at all. Nothing or nobody is going to survive here in Babylon and Great. We know that you're not going to escape the fire and the wrath of the Lord, man. So the prophets from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, and the, and, the, and the brothers is preaching the same likewise doctrine. We're prophesying the return of our Lord, man. We're prophesying this downfall of Babylon the Great and the destruction of this place that we live in called America, man. We're telling you this is going to happen. Not, not because we be saying it's going to happen. It's, it's written to happen. And the Lord has said he's going to make good on his word that he put in the prophets and apostles' mouths, man. And the voice... That's it. Oh, yeah. Let's go to this. Isaiah 44. Because when we speak, we speak... The Lord speaks through us. We can't say, well, I'm going to say this in this video. I'm going to say that in this video. No, man. It's all spiritual. So the Lord puts, puts the spirit on us to bring out his word the way he wants us to bring it out, man. And it's going to happen just as it is written, the destruction of Babylon the Great. This is uh, Isaiah 44 and 21. It says, remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. I have formed thee 
Thou art my servant, O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. And that's why I'll be telling you to repent to the Lord, man. You're not forgotten of the Lord, man. The Lord is going to protect you. And like right here, he says, going to blot out your sins. He says, I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions. See that? All the wickedness you have done here in Babylon, the great, the Lord has given you a way out, man. And you can't tell me the Lord ain't merciful, man. This is the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. All the sins you've committed here in Babylon and great against the Lord, he says he's going to blot out if you repent, man. He says, I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a thick, it's like, and as a cloud thy sins, plain, man. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. That's, man, you can't tell me the Lord is now on the side of his people, man. The law of statute of commandments was only given to the children of Israel. And he's telling you, you sinned against me. This is your way out. I'm going to give you another chance. This is what you need to do. You need to repent to me, return back to me, call on my name and be my people. And I will seek, seek you again and I will blot out your sins. He says, saying, O ye heavens, for you how about Shem shall have done it. Shout ye. Lower parts of the earth. Break forth into singing, ye mountains, O forest, and every tree therein. For Yahweh by Shem Yahushua have redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. And that's what he's doing through the men of the Lord, man. He's glorifying himself in us. Because we're bringing up the word, the word boldly, not fearing our enemies and our oppressor, man. We're telling you what it is, man. This is what the Lord says is going to happen. Thus say Yahweh by Shem Yahushah, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am Yahweh by Shem Yahushah that maketh all things. See that? So it's nothing for us to fear. He maketh all things. So if Esau is coming like a flood, the Lord is, is, is more powerful than him. He has no, he has no power over us, man. Yahweh Shah even told him that, man. You have no he told Pilate that. You have no power over me. If it wasn't given from the Most High, man. So we're living in spiritual times, man. Heavy times, man. The Lord is going to bring that spirit upon us, man. And we have nothing to fear. But Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. He says, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by, him, by himself, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad. See that? This is the Lord's work, man. That turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. And that's knowledge is foolish, man. Getting all these labs and doing all these different things to bring diseases. That's foolish, man. He should have enjoyed his, his, his kingdom. But he, he spent it trying to do wickedly, man. That comes, verse 26 it says, that confirmeth the, the word of his servant. See that? He, conform, he confirmed the word of his servant. See, the prophets and apostles are being spoken to you by Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. What we're saying, he's confirming it. What we're prophesying, the downfall of Babylon the Great, we, he's confirming this word, man. And perform of the counsel of his messengers. And we are his messengers, man. He's performing exactly what we're saying is going to happen. He says that saith to Jerusalem, thou shalt be inhabited. And to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built. And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. And see, the Lord is going to put us back in our land, man. And he is dealing with us once again. Let's get this in the, let's get this in the uh, NLT. I'll let you read it. And then we get into good news. Go ahead when you get, go ahead. I carry out. But... Oh, but I carry out the predictions of my prophets. See that? So the Lord is carrying out our predictions. And this word is like, we can't go and say, well, I'm going to say this in this lesson. I'm, no, man. The Lord is telling you through the prophets what's going to happen, man. By them, I say it to Jerusalem, people will live here again. See that? So the Lord telling you by his prophets, he's going to carry out, he was going to carry out his word, man. He's going to build back up our land. He's going to give us the kingdom of heaven. And these predictions is Babylon being destroyed. 
and us coming coming in power, man. And to the towns of Judah, you will be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. I will restore all your ruins. See that? We're going to get the kingdom of heaven. And it's going to be established in our land once again, man. But the point is, but I carry out the predictions of my prophets. So what we were saying is going to be confirmed in the Lord's word, man. In the earth, it's going to be confirmed. What we've been saying and prophesying, you're going to see that what we've been saying is all spiritual, man. The Lord said this was going to happen, and it's going to happen. Go ahead. Good news translation. But, but, sorry, mm -hmm. but when I, but, sorry, but when my servants make a prediction, uh -huh. will when yeah. I send a messenger to reveal my plans, I will make those plans and predictions come true. Woo, see that? He's going to make these predictions and plans come true. So it's already written. It's already spoken. And we're just bringing it out to the earth, man. Go ahead. I tell Jerusalem that people will live there again. Mm -hmm. And the city of cities of Ju Judah, that they will be rebuilt. Mm -hmm. Those cities will rise from the ruins. See that? It's going to rise from the ruins. So the Lord has not forsaken us. The Lord has not <laughs> cast us off forever. It was just for a short period of time, and the Lord has going to redeem us once again, man. And we're bringing this word out through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. Not our own understanding, our own predictions. These is what this is what the Lord says is going to happen. And we said the water Yahweh by Shem Yahushai because these words are faithful and true, man. This is Isaiah forty-eight, and I'm just at the point starting verse twenty. Go ye forth, O Babylon. Flee ye from the Chaldeans with a voice of singing, declare ye, tell this, utter it, even to the ends of the earth. Say ye, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua have redeemed his servant Jacob. See that? The Lord has redeemed us. And that's why we're speaking boldly in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, because his spirit is upon us. He's dealing with the children of Israel, once again, his prophets, to bring out this word and these lessons. To bring it forth to our people, man. He says, and, ye, and they thirsted not when he led them through the desert. See that? When we was in the, in the valley of the shadow of death, he led us, man. And we're being led right now. We're in a dry land. We're in a, we're in a, a wicked land, man. He says, he caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. And it's just speaking about in the ancient world, but it's also twofold, man. Because we're, we're in that dry land now, man. It's happened. This has happened and when he hit the rock. When Moses cleared the rock and the water came through. Now, through the spirit, that same rock we're drinking from is Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. And that's why, we can, that's why the spirit is dwelling in us now, man. He cleared the rock also and the water gushed out. And that's that spirit gushing out upon us again, man. We're not thirsting anymore. We're drinking, we're drinking, that, we're drinking the cup of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. He says, there is no peace, save Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, unto the wicked. See that? The Lord has gave us the spirit of the Lord back to on us, man. And we know there's no peace. And when we bring up this word, we know that his peace is not with, uh, with the wicked, man. The, pe this, the peace Esau would never have again is being stripped from him. This is Jeremiah 50. And I'm going to start at verse 1, down to 4. The word that Yehawabah Shem Yahushua spake against Babylon mm -hmm. and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet, mm -hmm. declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Mm -hmm. So we say it, we can, we're not concealing that word, man. We're telling you exactly what's going to happen. We're not sugarcoating, we're not holding it back. We're telling you exactly what's going to happen. And we're telling you what the Lord put on our spirit to tell you. And that's his word. Go ahead. Say Babylon is taken. Mm -hmm. Baal is confounded. Yep, his, <clears throat> his idols. Merodesh. Merodech. Merodech is broken in pieces. Mm -hmm. Her idols is, are confounded. Yep, so all the, all the things they pray to and they worship, they're going to be confounded because the Lord is going to move his hand on Babylon the great man. These things are being taken down. So they're seeking the idols now. And they're not getting the answer. Go ahead. Her idols are broken in pieces. Mm -hmm. For out of the north, there cometh, a, cometh up a nation against her. See that? So they're seeking after their gods, and they're not answering, man. But they've been taught to do this, and so they still continue to move forward because Esau is proud, man. 
Go ahead. For out of the north, there cometh up a nation up against her. See that? And that no, nation is Russia, man. In, in China and other, all the other nations that's going to be joined unto them. Go ahead. Which shall make her land desolate. See, it's going to make her land desolate, man. Go ahead. And none shall dwell therein. See, that? and nothing is going to dwell therein. So that's what we're telling you. It don't matter if you got a bunker here. It's not going to make it. <laughs> it's not going to <laughs> be able to help you. You're going to be in there set for oven because those missiles, one head of those nuclear missiles, uh, brothers did the research, and I'm just basically what's saying what they uh, what they brought out. And I didn't look it up myself, but they said one missile gets up to a million degrees Fahrenheit. One missile gets up to a million degrees Fahrenheit. And just imagine 200 million of those missiles hitting. Keep going. They shall, warheads, I would say, warheads. Go ahead. They shall remove... They shall depart, both man and beast. See that man and beast, nothing is going to stay here, man. That's what we tell you. When those missiles hit, beasts, animals, nothing is going to be here. And then we know that the, 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 the um, desert creature is going to dwell here after the destruction. But we know that when those missiles hit, there's nothing going to be here. Both man and beast are going to be gone. In those days and in that time, saith Yahweh Shem Yahweh the children of Israel shall come and it's like it, they and the children of Judah together mm -hmm. going and weeping. They shall go and seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh their most high. Their power. Mm -hmm. That's they, it. That's uh, it. You can, you can read the rest. You can read that. They shall ask the way to Zion mm -hmm. with their faces th thinward. Thinward, yep. Saying, come and let us join, <clears throat> let us join ourselves to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. To that, and that's what we're doing now. May we're crying unto the Lord. We're sending about prayers. <clears throat> we're praying the Lord returns, man. We're praying the Lord come and bring judgment and take us home, man. So we're seeking the Lord right now, man. We're crying to the Lord right now. And the Lord is going to make good on his word, man. He, we just read, he said he's going to confirm his word that we are speaking. Dropping down to verse 9, go ahead. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. No, all... nine. Oh, I'm sorry. For lo. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon a, a... assembly. Assembly of great nations. See that? So those nations are going to be joined with Russia, which you can read in, in, in Isaiah, well, Ezekiel 38, um, starting at verse 1. You can read all the nations that the Lord is going to have joined to Russia. Go ahead. From the north country. Uh -huh. And they shall set themselves a, in, in a array mm -hmm. against her. So they're going to surround Babylon the Great. Go ahead. From thence she shall be taken. See that? This is the this is the outcome of the... Well, I ain't going to say the outcome. This is the end game for Esau Edom, man. Go ahead. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. See that? The missiles, those thermonuclear missiles are going to be like a what? Ex uh, mighty expert man. See that? They're going to be perfectly shot on the places... That has been set forth to be de be destroyed, man. Go ahead. None shall return in vain. See that? Those missiles are going to be shot and none are going to return, man. They're going to hit exactly where the Lord wants them to hit at, man. Go ahead. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. See that? The Chaldea, the, the elite of the society, are going to be spoiled, man. All their plans are going to be ruined. Go ahead. All that spoil her shall be satisfied. See that? All that spoil her are going to be satisfied. So these nations are going to get payback, man. They're going to get payback and they're going to be happy that they was able to judge Babylon the Great, man. The elitists of the society, man. Your Illuminati, your, 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 um, your, your, all the elite, man. I ain't going to name all of them, but you know. They're going to be, the nations are going to be satisfied when they shoot their missiles on Babylon the Great, man. Go ahead. Say it to your help, I assume y'all were shot. See that? This is the Lord saying. Verse 11. Down to 13. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, mm -hmm. O ye destroyers of my inheritance. See that? So you Edomites, it was happy to destroy the children of Israel. This is your judgment. Because you was happy, you rejoiced with Psalms 137. You was happy what you did to us. You took our land, you stole our land, you used chemical weapons to destroy us. In many occasions, man. You start with the, with the blankets you gave to the, the, the northern tribe, man. Go ahead. Because ye are grown mm -hmm. fat as the heifer. As a heifer. See, you have grown fat. You've got fat. You don't, <clears throat> you don't live deliciously. You're proud. 
You got all the riches. You get all the resources. You've got fat. And you thought you would never be brung down, man. You thought you was God on earth. Go ahead. At grass uh -huh. and bellow as bulls. Uh -huh. Your mother shall be a, shall be sore confounded. Yep, and that's just being Great Britain. She that bear you shall be ashamed. See that those countries that that that, that trusted in you, your, your, your NATO, I would say, that trusted in you and believed that you was the mighty power never will be taken down, they're gonna be what? Ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, mm. and a desert. Be destroyed. Because of the, of the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Because of the wrath of the Lord, man. It shall not be inhabited. See, that it's not going to be inhabited. So you got other places, which is with a small, small hats out. It's not going to be inhabited either. So Babylon the Great, we know these two countries are slated to be destroyed. But that land that the small hatters have is going to be built back up. And we read that earlier. But it shall be wholly desolate. Mm -hmm. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished mm -hmm. and hiss at all her plagues. See that? And then we know this place is never going to be inhabited again, man. But the nations are going to go by this place and, and be amazed at the judgment that was given to Babylon the great, man. They're going to be... They're going to be <laughs> Read um read down to fifteen. They're gonna be amazed at the at the judgment that came on this place, man. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. Mm -hmm. All ye that bend the bow. See that all you nations that have missiles surround Babylon the Great, man. Shoot at her. What? Spare no arrows. See that shoot at her, spare no arrows. See, we know these missiles are not gonna travel backwards, man. When the Lord gives the word to get these missiles shot off, they're gonna be shot off, man. And every nation that possessed a missile is going to shoot their missiles on Babylon the Great. For she had sinned against Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. See that? Because of what? She has sinned against the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. So this is, the, this is the outcome of the wicked. This is, this is his, his dessert. He desired to have his dessert, man. Everything he wanted, he wanted, he, he, he used a sword to get it. So now... That, that that sword that was given to him is going to be used against him. He used it to go and rape, rob, and conquer these countries. And now they're going to use their sword, his blessing, against him, man. The Lord is cold, man. The Lord is cold. Let's get this. This is Isaiah 13. I'm going to start at verse 6 in the NLT. It says, Scream in terror for the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua has arrived. And that's, that, as that day is approaching, man, very, very fast, man. Scream in terror. See, it's telling you to scream because what's coming is going to be a terrible day, man. For the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai has arrived. The time for the Almighty to destroy. That's plain, man. The time the Lord is going to destroy is coming very soon, man. Every arm is paralyzed with fear. So Esau thinks he's, he's big and bad now, but when the Lord gives the word for the angels to come down, for the Lord to shoot those missiles over. The Yahweh Shai to come down. Salaki, let me say it that way. For Yahweh Shai to come down. For the Yahweh Shai to get a word to these missiles to be shot off. These people are going to be in terrible fear, man. Every arm is paralyzed with fear. Every heart melts. And, the, and people are terrified. Prayings of anguish grip them. Like those of a woman in labor. They look helpless helplessly at one another. See, that they're going to look at each other like, oh my God, they shot the missiles over here. They're going to be terrified, man. Their faces are flame with fear. For see, the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is coming. The terrible day of his, fierce, of his fury and fierce anger. The land will be made desolate and all the sinners destroyed with it. And you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you're going to be considered a, a sinner in that day with your, with your God, Esau, Edom. Man, that's a terrible day, man. <laughs> that's a terrible day. Verse 10, it says, the heavens will be black above, uh, above them. The stars will give no light. The sun will be dark when it rises 
and the moon will be will provide no light. See, no light. This is going to be man a dark day, man. I Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their sin. I will crush the arrogancy of the proud and and humble the pride of the mighty. So Esau is going down, man. <laughs> he, he going down, man. And his riches would not be able to save him. His riches would not be able to save him, man. Last one. Let's get this. James 5 and 1. Let's get it. Let's get it on that. This is James 5, verse 1 in the NLT. And it says, look here, you witch people. Weep and groan with astonish, anguish, anguish, mm -hmm. because all the terrible troubles ahead of you. <laughs> all the terrible, all the terrible troubles are. Uh, 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 Slocking is all the terrible troubles ahead of you. So you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, you have a power, man, and the Lord is giving you a way out. And Lord willing, this was edifying. We'll end it there. Shalom.